I got a UX design internship from MuleSoft, which the company later got acquired by Salesforce. I went over how I landed the offer in that video. But in this video, I'm going to go over the UX portfolio presentation that I give during my interview at MuleSoft. And as usual, I will do that in three parts. First, I walk you through what I presented so you can see the format, the content that I had. Then I will go over the questions that came up during the interview, during or after I presented my project. And lastly, I will give my final thoughts. If I were to iterate on this project, if I were to present to MuleSoft again, what would I change? What would I keep an eye on? So that I could pass all these knowledge, insights, tips, tricks to you for you to land your dream internship. That was also the portfolio piece that got me my first internship. So they can kind of get a sense of what could get you your first internship. And actually I've been talking too long. Let's get our favorite drink and let's get into it. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. This presentation, again, there's no tips or emails or preparation, what I should be doing. The recruiter did not tell me anything. So again, I am shooting in the dark, but that's okay. Let's take a look at what I have, which leads to part one, chapter one. What did I present? So, so let me make some space for this side. That's my project, but actually there's some interesting thing going on as I went through the process of presenting it. Let me refresh. Wow, that's grand revelation. Let's watch again. Whoa, moving up and down and left and right. That's totally unnecessary. But let's save all that to the end, okay? So in the beginning, I have this iPad tablet hero image to uh, give an impression of what it is. It's native, the name of the project. New parking experience, that's what it's about. I always like to have a tagline uh, with a few words to kind of summarize what this project is. And in the beginning, I opened with uh, what this project is about. It's a small paragraph, uh, so it's a redesign of a parking system uh, and uh, kiosk UI. This project overall was a school project to begin with. And the project is essentially redesigning a parking kiosk interface. Well, it's parking kiosk and the interface. So as you can see here, this is a reference. Uh, we're essentially redesigning this particular parking kiosk the whole physical industrial design of it and as well as this little tiny screen along with these hardware buttons and slots which we call that hardware interface. So from the get-go I just scroll down as I remember as I recall I just have this image highlight the different issues that I identify or it's a team project we have identified collectively together. Uh, this display issue, this overall issue, the button placement uh, some labels and already there is a typo yay yeah I probably should fix it actually doesn't look good on me at all so after I go through the obvious problems and then I have this diagram of what do users do at each touch point so basically the, the user journey uh, or say, per se uh, just map out the flow like from selecting a language uh, entering a parking space this is describing the current uh, user flow and paying by car, cash, and then how it flows if it's by car this way, if it's by ca uh, cash, it's the other way. So, as you see, a lot of notes which could signal it's a complicated project or it's a complicated flow, or maybe it's just the nature of parking. It has to be that many steps, which I actually refuse to believe. So, I kind of laid out that rationale behind it and going through some uh, user research uh, finding about how satisfied users uh, are right now, like how positive, negative they are. So overall, people don't like it. So I have this giant bold 77% people think it's negative on the UI. Over experience is 50-50, but most people will vote for the negative side and highlight the main problems uh, with quotes and put them in a uh, bar chart, horizontal bar chart. Like most people just talk about, oh, how do I go back to the previous state? And then last one is like, what's my zone number? So, so, so far, quick comment. I think the describing the problem is pretty straightforward that I summarize it. The flow is easy to understand. And then having this kind of infographic, it's really nice to kind of summarize all the research that uh, our team had done rather than having pages of sticky notes, diagrams, all those uh, really thorough process, which is good to have. but. Overall, you cannot really show all these really blurry small images and having paragraphs of paragraphs of text. 
in the presentation. Despite I didn't show too much of a thorough process, this is actually doing a good job summarizing the, the findings, the research that we did. And then I have this kind of quote slash highlight of my like epiphany, my realization. Uh, you can see I have the same format here. So it's not just a UI, it's a whole system. So I went ahead and investigated into what the current system is doing and then how we can maybe optimize the entire system overall, not just making a more clear UI, clear label, but to invent, to design a more efficient system to begin with. So this GIF is demonstrating like the old parking system versus the new one like in two seconds you can take you can see the the difference between the two i think i just talked over it uh, when i'm animating this and uh, this is actually useful again because i do not have to read about specific thing paragraphs i just go to oh this highlight the idea is it's not park it's not paying by parking spot it's parking by zone because the new system is essentially dividing up the parking lot into several zones and then you can just pay at that zone and then i have this kind of boom 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 the three column format of going over the, the technology that i think this system will require way sensor camera wireless communication and highlighting a principle recognition rather than recall so how it works is so i i think i pause on this screen for a little bit to kind of explain the system this new idea that i had i have the one two three four steps so the one is like there's this kind of pole infrastructure on the parking lot with the zone A lighting up and then the car comes over, the way sensor on the ground detected and then the camera will snap a picture of the car and sends it to the parking kiosk. So it will tell you, oh, this car, the 415 parking spot just parked 30 seconds ago. Cool. And then when you pay for parking, you just find your zone and then you find the the image of your car and then you pay for that instead of memorizing the space number on the ground that you typically would miss but if it's paying by the zone if you forget your zone just look back at that direction oh it's eight so you're in zone eight so i have this uh, carousel animating showing all the past situations that i that i've done i think the layout of this is kind of random kind of stacked stack against each other i actually hypothetical iteration will go into part three let's continue but this is what I had at the time. This is what I showed. And just a side note, I definitely remember that I highlighted, I have went through like 10 iterations to get to my final design, which could be a plus to hiring manager uh, at that time. And after that, I have all the screens showing all the, the, the flows. So it works in this case, just because this parking kiosk interface is not that complicated. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight screen so it's okay to scroll through and kind of quickly step through each of them so I have different languages to pick tap to star pick the zone number have the the progress tracker on, on the top one two three what's the amount summary of it and then pay uh, insert card or cash processing and then boom you want receipt yes or no thank you this is done and that summarizes it so here we go that is native, that is the parking kiosk redesign. What do you guys think? And since we have reached the end of this project site, I have to mention, during the presentation, there's actually no video call even uh, at that time. I just sent the hiring manager the, the link of to, to this project and I just walked them through it asynchronously. So I actually have no idea what they're looking at. I'm just telling them, if you scroll to the middle of it, you will see an animation of the parking lot system the new parking system if you keep scrolling down you will see some of the iteration that i did that's the the kind of presentation that i had it's not even a screen sharing it's not a, a deck just to give everybody proper context and yeah that is the the presentation for this project any questions speaking of questions feel free to leave any questions and comment down below i'll respond to every comment and also speaking of questions let's get to chapter two what questions did they ask me during the presentation? So the hiring manager at MuleSoft specifically did not ask me any questions regarding the presentation itself. Not that I remember at all. Instead, they asked me something about, oh, are you still in school? What are you looking for? More or less behavioral or just background information. So not particularly relevant to this video, so I will skip all those questions. However, for the same project that I presented to other companies, I did get some questions specifically about a project. So one question was about, 
okay, uh, it's great to have the authentication to be the image of the car. But what if you have three, four, five white cars look very similar or same brand even, parked at the same zone, how do you identify it? So if you scroll over to this screen, you can see it's used after you select a zone, it will just show you pictures of cars that park in that zone. So that's one question I got asked, which is essentially an edge case situation, because the likelihood that you have more than three cars that are all white, similar look, or similar brand, they all BMW, you know, very similar models in, in the 2016 models. I mean, it could happen, but the, the likelihood is, is not high. There's also this parked how many seconds ago. We should add another additional layer of cross check that is very unlikely. So it gets less and less and less likely all those factors will line up just so that you cannot distinguish which car is yours. Well, even if all those fail, there's always a space number S that back up as a safety net for them to input. And that's pretty much the only and the main question about this project that I that I've got during uh, those interviews across different companies. Looking at the project, looking at the interface, it's just not very good. And speaking of not very good, let's go to chapter three, hypothetical iteration. If I were to do this again, iterate on it, present again, what would I do differently? The first thing I would do is, of course, I would email the recruiter and say, hey, anything that the hiring manager would like to see, any particular project, anything I should include, basically ask for the prep tip, which again is very useful. They tell me what they want to see, I give them what they want to see. Great match. And after that, the second thing I want to change is to get rid of the website present everything in a keynote in a presentation deck so that i can control the pace better have a better narrative and make sure we're looking at the same thing and speaking of looking at the same thing the third thing i would do is to request hey let's hop on a video call rather than a phone call and seeing the presentation asynchronously so all those three changes can all happen in the same email thread which is nice the fourth thing i would change is to Polish up the project a little bit by adding the edge case, which I should be able, I should be able to foresee questions coming. So I will work on a flow that talk about how do we input the space number in case the zone number mechanism fail. So in case I have to use it as reference, I can show that up. And number five, of course, is a prototype that I can click through. In these days, in 2023, Figma can work, and you can probably actually just present your project through Figma as a keynote and you can click through the prototype there for this prototype the objective c uh, ios ipad prototype i really 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 should have taken a video recording of it and have documentation because now there's no way for me to get back to it and the api is just deprecated it doesn't work anymore it doesn't load anymore the ipad was not there anymore in hindsight everything is just so clear but at the moment i was just so dumb it's okay it's okay but actually, yeah, it's okay. This project is not perfect. It's my actually very first UI project that I did in school. And you can see I presented straight from this website asynchronously with typo <laughs> up front and have this messy layout of iterations. And I still got an internship, a UX internship in tech in Silicon Valley. There's some luck involved, of course, I don't deny that. But at the same time, don't lose faith, keep working hard, keep polishing your work as much as you could. Like I said, design never ends. There's always places for you to make your portfolio, make your portfolio piece better. But if you're confused, just reach out to other people, get a fresh eye on it, get a fresh take on it, or even just take a break, lay back, get some popcorn, get some favorite drinks, and then later again, you can get back into it, y'all. So that is the one and only one project that I presented to MuleSoft, which got me a UX design internship. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This was what I showed during the interview, and I did actually thought about, hmm, maybe I should record a separate video on the entire presentation that I gave, word by word, and what it would look like. And that will later be exclusively available on my Patreon. So stay tuned for the announcement. In the meantime, if you would like to join, leave it on the comment or shoot me an email saying you're interested so I can put you on the list and let you know when it's ready. While you're perfecting your portfolio and nailing your portfolio presentation, 
There are always other factors that could affect the outcome of your application, whether it's internship or full-time job. And I have used my best design thinking and craft to capture those in these videos for you. Check them out right there. Like and subscribe to support this very, very small channel and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers.